How many times do I have to forgive my brother who sins against me? Asks Peter in Matthew 18, 21, 35. Give me a number. After that, I won't be obliged anymore. This is the risk of religion, of any religion, the desire for boundaries, for a clear knowledge of being in or out, right or wrong. Our dear Peter still has got a long way to walk. But in his answer, not seven, but 77 times, Jesus is not giving a number, but a whole new attitude. And the parable he teaches then uh, is the key to it. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decides to settle accounts with his servants. In biblical tradition, a king is supposed to meditate the law of God day and night in order to become a good and just judge and shepherd his people, providing for their needs and protecting them. This is what biblical kingship is all about. Now, this king in the parable wants to settle accounts with his servants and finds out that one of these owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying, paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the, the servant fell down, did him homage and said, be patient with me and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the law. The law. We all know what follows. The forgiven servant revealed himself incapable of doing the same with the other fellow servant who owed him a much smaller account amount. Uh, this saddened the king deeply and provoked his anger, expressed in a harsh, very harsh punishment. Jesus is teaching his disciples that uh, like this is the kingdom of heaven, a reality in which fellows forgive each other, knowing that they are all debtors, that they all have been forgiven and still need to forgive. This kingdom is an invitation to imitate the good divine king, showing our likeness and similarity to him by behaving just like him. We can therefore bring forward the kingdom of heaven on earth every day and every time we remind ourselves of God's mercy and love for us and uh, of his will that we should be like him. Christians believe that with baptism they become priests, prophets and kings. Therefore, by practicing mutual forgiveness and enlarging their heart to their neighbors, they can so exercise their divine kingship. <laughs> <laughs>